This meditation helps us to overcome anxiety, confusion, and overeating due to anxious thoughts. So it connects us with our soul and will affect the mind in a very positive way. Satnam, I'm Annie, and today I will teach you five short meditations for conscious eating and to heal emotional eating. So this is the Eating Habits Mastery episode number 10. And here find content to master your eating habits for a fit body, calm mind, and self-love and spiritual growth. Now let's jump into the first meditation. The first meditation is a pranayama. So this meditation helps us to overcome anxiety, confusion, and overeating due to anxious thoughts. So it connects us with our soul and will affect the mind in a very positive way. So the way we do that, we're going to use a pranayama, it's a breathing exercise. So we will place the hands uh, in prayer together. And I want to connect the thumbs on the sternum. And I close your eyes and focus on the eye, your focus your eye gaze on the brow point. So the pranayama is inhaling in four parts, like little sniffs, and exhaling in equal four parts. So equal four parts inhale, equal four parts exhale. And when we exhale, we want to exhale powerfully moving the navel in. So we will put the navel in on the exhale. Right? So, and we meditate for three minutes, but this meditation can be done for five minutes, for 11 minutes, or even for half an hour. Okay, so let's practice. Bring the palms of the hand together. Close your eyes. Placing thumbs on the sternum. And let's do it a couple of times together, and then you do it on your own. Inhale for equal parts. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing in for equal parts. Keep breathing, powerful breath. Now keep your spine straight while you're practicing this meditation and the neck lock with your chin toward the back of your skull. Make your body alignment so you can get the full benefits of this meditation. Very well, we have less than two minutes here. Remember to pump that navel in very far. The more energy you put in this meditation, the more are the, the better the benefits you're going to enjoy after. Bringing your mind into balance, eliminating anxiety through breath. Our breath has an enormous capacity to change our state of consciousness. So let's be present and focus on the breath here.
Now take a deep inhale. Hold the breath in. And as you hold the breath, put some pressure between the palms of your hands and the sternum in your thumb. Apply more bone squeezing in a sexual the navel point. Slowly exhale. Exhale one more time. Hold the breath, pressure between hands, apply mula bones, your root lock, squeezing rectum, sexual organs, navel point. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Pressure between palms. Now squeeze all the muscles of your body. You squeeze the muscles in the pelvic floor, your root lock. Look up and in. Alignment, concentration, go within. Slowly let go of your breath and relax your body. What is how you feel? How is your mind behaving? How's your body? Well, this meditation is a really good one, very simple to do. You can do it at any time of the day to help with that anxiety and eating compulsion that sometimes with you to as a way to alleviate anxiety. And when we press the palms of the hands together, we create a state of balance between the two hemispheres of the brain. So a lot of the times our impulses happen because the hemisphere of the brain, they're not working in, uh, they're not in balance between them. There's some sort of disconnection there between the processes. And just a simple pressure here between hands and between the thumbs and the sternum helps us to center, being back to our center, being grounded. When we press the thumbs against the sternum, we also we are activating our vagus nervous system, which um, I activates our parasympathetic nervous system, that part of ourselves that help us to relax and breathe and be in the present moment. So I hope you enjoyed this meditation. Now let's move into our next one, next meditation. And I think you're gonna like this one as well. So this is a very interesting one. <clears throat> the way we do that is, this is a, this meditation is very useful for dealing with stress, difficult relationships, past family issues, and all those moments when we, all we can think of is to eat a snack to number ourselves from, from our feelings. And especially when it's related to something that happens to our past. Sometimes it was something that happened a few hours ago, a few minutes ago. Sometimes our, we have some, you know, issues that is still bother us and happened years ago. So come and practice meditation. Give it a try because I think this can help you. The way we practice is we're going to look at the tip of the nose, we're gonna have the clo eyes closed, look at the tip of the nose and the hands in front of the chest. Now the tips of the hand, the tips of the fingers will be connected, but the hands will be apart like this, right? And the way we'll breathe is in three parts. We use a pranayama for that. Five seconds inhaling, five seconds holding the air in, and five seconds exhaling. And you can practice meditation three for three minutes, for example, very short, while in the toilet at the work, for example, or you know, you can extend it up to half an hour. Very simple, as you as you as you um, can see, just bring your hands here, inhale five seconds, hold the air in five seconds, exhale five seconds. Let's practice. Now we're going to practice for three minutes. Close your eyes, your body into alignment. 
roll your shoulders back, apply the neck lock, and let's start together. Inhale. Hold the breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Hold the breath in. Exhale. Keep doing the breath when you're on. Apply, applying a light pressure between the tips of your finger. Don't forget the eye gaze. Look at the tip of your nose. And if you see that it's okay, you can also extend, extend the length of the breath. If you extend for eight seconds, for example, make sure that the four, the three parts of this meditation are equal, equal in time, in length. Get it distracted at any point, bring your mind back to your breath. Your breath is the link between you and your infinite self. Between the present moment. Go deeper, experimenting to extend your breath a little bit if you feel comfortable with your breath. Make this your last cycle of breath. And when you finish, take a deep inhale. Hold the air, apply some pressure between the tips of your fingers. Make your spine very straight.
exhale. Now bring your both arms up, straight up, stretch your fingers up. Inhale, hold the breath, squeeze all the muscles of your body. Exhale, relax. Well done. Notice the effects of this meditation in your body. Notice how you're feeling. I hope you enjoyed this meditation. And you, again, you can come back. It's very simple. It's one of my go-to meditations when I need some to bring balance into my mindset. When I feel like a, a little bit anxious, I come to this meditation. And my tip for you here is to challenge yourself a little bit if you feel comfortable with five seconds you can go and extend a little bit try to find your sweet spot that space when it's not like super comfortable but it's not super uncomfortable it's like a little bit one tiny step out of your comfort zone in this meditation because as we expand our lung capacity and you will expand your lung capacity if you practice this meditation and follow this tip we have um, a bigger chance of being more resilient in times of stress in times of anxiety and to take our time and make decisions that will will be healthy for our body instead of following our impulse and go to food, okay? Thank you for meditating with me. Now, we're gonna go through our next meditation here. And just check the order, yeah, okay, cool. Now, our greatest enemy is our mind. It can be our greatest friend, but a lot of times the mind is playing a role of as the enemy and a self-defeating attitude uh, a lot of self-judgment this type of attitude exists when we don't accept ourselves and we know you know those moments when we eat more than we need and at the end of the day we wish that we didn't do like acting like that and we end up beating ourselves. So this meditation is good for those times. This meditation increases our capacity of, our capacity to confront the mind and experience our soul. And it seems like all there is left is self-judgment and the piece of cake in our fridge that might make us feel better. And again, there's nothing wrong about eating a piece of cake as long as that is your choice not a blind uh, impulse as long as you are in the control it's okay to eat whatever you want it's your choice as long as you are you are aware of your choice but from the moment that you lose the control and you're not able to say yes or no, then this is the moment that you might choose to practice this meditation and also help with those moments of self-judgment and self-defeating thoughts, okay? So the way we practice this meditation is we place the hands in front of the heart center and make fists with your hands and place your thumbs up. You're gonna connect the knuckles of your fingers of thumbs and also of your rest of your fingers and fists like this thumbs stick pointing up now we're going to focus at the tip of the of the nose you don't need to put too much a light case is enough and we will um inhale we have like a breathing pattern here we'll inhale through the nose exhale through, through the mouth inhale through the mouth Exhale through the nose. So it's like we swap the order. Inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. Inhale, mouth, exhale, nose. And we keep repeating like that. This meditation we will practice for three minutes, but it can be done in, you know, 
for extend for 10 minutes, for example. So it's very simple and will help you to bring back and be more, build more compassion towards yourself and feel more in control. That's what we want. We can build our abilities to feel in control after this meditation. Okay, so let's start practicing three minutes here. Now, bring your hands into your fists. Look at the tip of your nose, but close your eyes, make your spine nice and straight. Take a moment to be with your breath, your natural breath, to notice how you're feeling at the moment. Notice and acknowledge those feelings that are there and that might be hurting you, might be painful to feel. And let's start. Inhale, you're gonna do a couple of times together. Inhale through the nose slowly. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, mouth. Exhale, nose. Keeping on your own pace, I invite you to extend the length of your breath if you can, doing it as slow as you can. Full concentration on your breath. in your last cycle of breath. Now extend your arms up, spread your fingers, take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold your breath in, squeeze all the muscles of your body, apply mula bands, squeeze the, the pelvic floor muscles, anal sexual or the navel point. Hold your arms up, exhale. Let's do it two more times, inhale. Hold the breath in, apply mula bone, squeezing the pelvic floor muscle, squeeze your arms, squeeze the muscles, all the muscles of your body engage it. Keep the arms there, slowly control, exhale. Last time. Inhale, squeeze everything, give yourself a boost of self-love and patience, sometimes we need patience, 
exhale, slowly come back into the posture. Thank you for meditating with me. Now, we are going to practice another one, very short one. Let me know in the comments if this is how you're feeling after this meditation and if you notice any difference between one meditation to another because they do cause bring uh, different effects to our mental state, your body and generally all of them help us to feel calmer but they work in different aspects of our psyche okay now let's swing and go to our next practice now this meditation is called the square breathing and some people call it the box breathing because it's like you're drawing a bo box with your breath so it's a very simple way to get back into balance and to process that anxiety or stress that leads us to snack or go to like sugary food for example at the end of the day or even in the middle of the day right again nothing wrong with eating chocolates or as long and you know sugary food as long as your choice is not something that you're feeling out of control and if you're feeling out of control this is a good meditation to go to because it's going to help you to bring back into balance and calm down anxiety and relieve stress very so you can just sit in a chair and close your eyes and you're gonna breathe into four parts so it's Inhale, hold the breath, exhale, and hold the breath out. So if you see like we are drawing like a little box here with our breath. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold out. The secret here in this meditation is that the four parts must be equal in time. So we will start with three seconds very easy and i will open up for you you know to explore what are the limits of your breath we all have different lung capacity now sometimes you know i can do this meditation let's say 20 seconds each part and others three seconds is just enough so i invite you to find your sweet spot that space where it's not too pushy but it's not like super comfortable. You know, it's the one little step out of our comfort zone. And that's how we want to practice this meditation. Okay, let's close your eyes and your spine nice and straight. Roll your shoulders back and bring apply the neck lock. Bring your chin in so you have a nice line between your spine and your neck. Your hands can be in the mudra or rested on your, your thighs. You know, so you can practice anywhere you are, even if you're sitting on a bus or like in a social room, just close your eyes and practice meditation. Let's close the eyes and we're going to practice this for three, mi three minutes. Take notice of knowledge how you're feeling, knowledge how your body, your physical body, your, your mental states are. And let's start getting together. I'm gonna guide you the first couple of times and then you do it on your own. Inhale for three seconds. Hold the breath in. Exhale. Hold the breath out. Inhale. Hold the breath in, exhale, hold the breath out, now start breathing in your own terms, find the sweet spot that it's good for you, just remember the four parts must be equal in length of time.
If you catch your mind wandering at any point, bring yourself back to the present moment through your breath concentration. Make this your last cycle of breath. Now let's take together a deep inhale, a nose. Hold the breath in. Notice how you feel, and when you're ready, open your eyes. Now, this meditation can become your one of your greatest assets in in the journey of you know healing from emotional eating. So again, use it anytime you're stressed or ang or anxious, and bring yourself back to balance. It's simple, and you can do it in only three minutes. If Possible if you have more time and more opportunity, you can practice it longer. And I do suggest encourage you to practice for a longer time, like half an hour, and see the transformation that you can do in your psyche, in your um, state of consciousness. Okay, thank you so much for meditating with me, Sat Nam. And now we're going to move to our last one. So this meditation. It's one of my favorites and it's a little bit different from the rest of the meditations that we practiced before. This short meditation will help you to eliminate feelings of self judgment, negativity, inferiority, and low self esteem that are constant sometimes when we are healing from emotional eating, this journey of being back in control of your mind, of our actions. And we keep beating ourselves sometimes because we didn't do that that meal right. You know, we overate after dinner and we we started something new when it couldn't finish. So we start to beat ourselves. So this meditation helps you bring compassion, having that perspective, that feeling like I can do it, be be more positive more motivated to keep doing it so it's called why we're we going to use is a mantra and we it's called the magic mantra because it's exactly what it does does magic into our consciousness it's it cuts negative thoughts especially in the moments of self-judgment so it is my go-to anytime i need a boost of positivity in my day <laughs> this mantra it's it on kar sat gur prasad and then you repeat the opposite way sat gur prasad ek on kar so why you have to do this meditation it's very simple we want to repeat this mantra over and over again in a in the monotone and this will help uh, to shift our state of consciousness as we, we repeat it. I invite you to bring your eye gaze towards the brow point, so me here, and focus there, your hands in Gyan Mudra, 
So just place your hands on your on your lap and make your stand straight. You can be sitting in a chair, sitting cross-legged, it doesn't matter. Just try to keep your body as straight as you can. And you will repeat this in a monotone. So follow me if you, you know, find confusing this mantra, mumble along. It's important if you to repeat it out loud. Now you can practice also repeating um, mentally. I find it more effective when you repeat out loud because there's a whole science on how we strike the tongue on our upper palate that helps to raise the effects of this meditation okay so let's practice we're going to practice for three minutes and you can practice it for 20 minutes half an hour when i do i normally practice at least for 20 minutes to get more of the benefits Okay, so close your eyes, up any, make your spine straight. Let's start the meditation. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale to start. Take a deep inhale, hold the breath in, slowly exhale. When you're ready, open your eyes, notice how you feel. I know that I feel a little bit more 
um, I don't know, it's like a, a extra glow here inside of me. I always feel a little bit lighter after chanting this mantra. This is called the magic mantra. It helps to cut, cut negative thoughts that we have in our mind, self-judgment as well. So I hope you enjoy this meditation and practice it anytime that you feel you need an extra boost of motivation, confidence, and positivity. Okay, thank you so much for meditating with me, everyone. If you're watching this on YouTube or on Instagram or Facebook, please share and subscribe or follow the page so you can help me to spread this word to more people that are in need to hear this message. Thank you so much for meditating with me, Satnam, and chat next week. Bye.